This is a uh, demonstration of 41051 initial problems uh, during the estimate. I thought it would be uh, more effective because the picture is worth a thousand words to uh, show you what's occurring in addition to what's going to be written down in your estimate. And I don't know how you're going to react to this, uh, but uh, a metaphor would be when I bring my car into my car guy and I think, oh my God, the problems are horrible, it's not going to be savable that it's fatal. He always says, no, no problem, it's no big deal. Well, what I'm going to show you, you may have that same initial reaction, but uh, your beautiful amplifier here is savable. It's not uh, fatal, but it is serious. Okay, so this is your amp. Before I turn it on, and uh, photography is not my forte uh, warning, so I'm going to show you what we're doing. We're going to, and I need to uh, Turn the light away so we can see the scope better. You're going to hear initially a 400 cycle sine wave, which I will be feeding into the um, auxiliary input on the back, and that's how we're going to test your, your item. And what's going to be more effective, though, is we're going to be able to view the oscilloscope. This device right here, the upper display is going to be your left channel. The lower display is going to be your right channel. And um, what happened initially is there is uh, no right channel. And turning it up, uh, we see a distorted right channel. So let's back this off. And another thing I'm going to do is initially I'm going to have the sound on so you can hear it. But I'm going to turn that uh, um, sound off and switch the audio output into a dummy load of 8 ohms. The 8 ohm dummy load will uh, stress the amplifier identical to a uh, speaker, but it will not distort the microphone or cause blood to squirt out of my ears as we turn the volume up. Okay, so let's, uh, we can back this out a little bit. And, whoops, and another feature of your amplifier is you do not get sound immediately, which is pretty much a universal design. There's going to be a red light that comes on for approximately 10 seconds. That is that blinking right there. That uh, indicates that the output stages are biasing up, and when the circuit senses that they are biased up to approximately zero, what we call DC offset, the uh, protector will stop, and it should be... <laughs> I had the volume all the way up. We may have driven it into protection. Yeah, we did. So let's turn this off. Oh, there we go. Because what's going to happen is when the volume is up, it's going to go into protection. Normally, it should take 10 seconds approximately for that um, protector light to stop. And because I had the volume up to the point where it um, falls, it took longer until I turned it back. Okay, so now that we've established that, let's take a look at our scope. And let's get a nice close look. There we go. Oh, we're having so much fun. Okay, now let's turn it on. I'll turn up the volume. And again, I'm going to turn the audio uh, off and switch to the dummy load so we don't distort the microphone or cause uh, blood to squirt out of my ears. Okay, and I'm also going to get some more gain here to show you initially what's going on. The upper display is your left, the lower is your right. And I'm sure you're familiar with what a sine wave looks like. A low distortion sine wave is the upper display, your left channel. Your right channel is um, highly intermittent. Sometimes it's as much as 25 dB below the left channel. But w what is more concerned is the um, negative half of the waveform is uh, prematurely clipping. And as we, t as we turn this up, Look at that. You essentially have almost no negative half of the right channel. And as we turn it up even farther, I just uh, decreased the gain so we can turn it up. It's going to go into protection mode. Here we go. Look at, look at, oh, there we go. Went into protection. Okay. Now, that might look fatal to the layperson, and um, it's not. You have blown right channel. 
and it's not uh, all your output transistors because it wouldn't even buy us up at all at low volume. It's uh, something in the drivers or, or pre-drivers. So that's what's occurring, and I wanted to show you that. So I'm going to turn this off and proceed with the rest of the estimate, but I thought a video of this would be helpful.